And we're back. Let's start Panic Puppet Zone Act 1. Unlike the other levels in the game, Flickies are not contained in enemies, but they are contained in these little capsules, which you have to pop and release. So, you can really just completely ignore the enemies in this area. It really. <laughs> I mean, it's completely different from the other levels because of this. So, oh, that's the way back here. Never mind about that. Uh, so yeah, this way. Definitely, ah, I guess the turrets hurt me themselves. By the way, to activate these things, just walk across them. Like that. A lot of people don't really understand how to activate them. <laughs> I don't know why. You just stand on them, walk across. And you can also change the direction of them by flipping the switch the other way. Just like you flipped it this way, yeah. And there we go. And there's some more rings, I might as well collect them. And there's some more electricity uh, flooring, like right here, which I could use that shield for, you know. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Up, up, up. Oh, go, go. Oh, Sonic. Come on, Sonic. You can do this. Yeah, there we go. That was not hard at all. <laughs> I made it a lot harder than it looked. And, I mean, I made it looked a lot harder than it actually was, believe me. I think I have to go up here, if I'm not mistaken. Carefully, if I can. Ooh. Or maybe I can take the other routes. Uh, I'm... Wait a second, hold on. No, I can, I'll just kill you, just to get rid of you. Uh, there's a flicky up here. <laughs> um, I think that elevator leads me back to the beginning, which I do not want. So, woo, I think that's the elevator I want to take, but hold on just a sec. Whoa! Ambush ahoy! Crap, it's a trap! <laughs> and come on, flicky, flicky. Oh, 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 okay. And there we go. And okay. Oh wait, whoa. Okay. I'm saying okay a lot. I, I, whenever I feel I'm okay, I say I'm okay, and that's a bad habit. Okay. <laughs> and down we go. I think this is the correct one. If it's not, yes, this is the correct one. The other one is a fake. And I have to go. Oops. I have to go flip this switch up here, which is protected by turrets. Yeah, yeah, baby. That was skills. And that's with a Z at the end. And this takes a while. I don't know why they just don't have you boost through it, like with some arrows or something like that, but there you go. <laughs> and woo! No, no, oh, that's, that's if you have to get a flicky, you can use that to go back. But otherwise, uh, yeah, that's the end of Act 1. Wow. Yeah, seriously. This is a very short last level. I don't know why, but it is. And the next one, Panic Puppet Zone Act 2, has absolutely no flickies. That's right! No more exploration! We can just run through this whole stage if we wanted to, you know, and try not to die or anything like that. Yeah, we can ignore them and get on the treadmill and, yep. This is probably what the whole game should have been. I mean, you know how Sonic games should be. They should be nice, explor not exploration. They shouldn't be exploration. They should just be running through stages as quick as possible. Ow! <laughs> you know, without killing yourself. That kind of helps too. <laughs> Upsy daisy and turrets, and I'm just running right into those electric guns. <laughs> that is not good for my health. <laughs> And, oh, by the way, you can spin dash through this, just like this. Yeah, there's extra life over here. Bet you didn't know that. Well, I'm sure some people did. But yeah, the, what you want to do is go inside Eggman's ship, which isn't actually over here. But it certainly looks impressive as you go through the tubing of it. That isn't the actual entrance to it, though, obviously, because this level isn't over. Oh, shoot, I'm I don't have any rings. <gasps> no, this is not, okay. <laughs> Yes, you can get squished by this thing, too, by the way. Uh, oops. And, okay. Wait for it. Do not try and jump ahead. Just wait for it to come to you, and there you go. And then go to this side, and go up. There you go. A lot of people have trouble with those uh, hilly areas, too, but just play patiently. You do not have to rush it. This is a well-placed enemy, by the way. Yeah, that one right there. It can shoot right as you're passing by. Just like the turrets! Ah, no! And here comes the, oops, the very ending run. And you can choose your way you want to go, and there's the end. We go right into his nostril. That's kind of gross, actually. <laughs> And that's the end of Act 2, so let's go to the boss. The boss is very, very tricky, so hold on just a sec. Okay, I just wanted to make a little camera checkpoint sort of dealio there so I could uh, 
you know how to how, how do I put it? So if I screw up on the boss, I can just restart, restart, and stand underneath it, and then let it let it fall on you, and then jump towards that blue light on the back. That's all you have to do for phase one. There's three phases to this boss, and you want to focus on one arm at a time. Ah! I took a hit, and come on, hit it, hit it. Ah! It's very tricky to hit those blue things. I don't know why, but but they're very tricky to hit. <laughs> There's no other explanation to it. Yep. And three. And four. And there we go. Woohoo! I might as well grab the rest of the ring. Oops, I was gonna say grab the rest of the rings. But never mind. Stand under here. I think the left one shoots first. Yes, it does. Just lead the fire away. The fire is really. Oh, shoot. The fire is not really much of a threat, but the arms alternate, so just go from one arm to the other, starting with the left one on the screen. And stand underneath the shadow. Standing underneath the shadow definitely helps now that you can see where um, the switch actually resides. And for some reason the fire, oops, fire doesn't reach very far, you know, it doesn't last for very long. Don't know why, but that's just how it works. I'm not going to complain or anything. <laughs> Obviously, because I'm not taking many hits, and this is the final and hardest phase. Again, if I'm not mistaken, the left arm is the one that fires first, so get ready to jump at this thing. You want to hit it as soon as possible, as soon as it starts flashing, because otherwise it'll start shooting out those blue balls, you know, let those turrets shoot out, and then they'll be bouncing all over the room, and it'll be chaotic all over the place. So just try and prevent the guns from shooting. Oh, shoot, they shot. <laughs> Look at that go. And there we go. Yeah, you can pretty much beat this part of the part of the boss without even having a single ounce of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, you can beat it without having those arms shoot at all. And that's the final boss of the game if you don't collect those dang emeralds in the dang bonus stages. So here comes the credit sequence. Boom! Yeah, you kind of expected that, didn't you? Oh, what a bad time to have a dark camera recording. Arr, as long as I have this final weapon, I can conquer the world at a time! See you again, Sonic. If you had all the emeralds, you'd go straight to the final boss, but since I don't have it yet, uh, I mean, since I don't have the final boss, I mean, I don't have the emeralds! I uh, can't go to the secret final boss, so I'm just going to cut through the credits until I get to the end of them and show you what the very ending of the credits are, if it has any at all, so hold on a sec. Coming to the end of the credits, I guess, so we're gonna see what it is. We're we gonna take it to the back? Yep. We're just gonna go to this chai again screen. He's gonna be juggling all the emeralds, but I'm gonna use a code to get to the final secret boss. So I will see you guys all in the next part. Yeah, this takes us to the title screen, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Okay, see you guys in the next part. <laughs> by the way, game not made by me, made by Sega. I'm just doing the walkthrough on it to entertain and help you guys.